What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video guys. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to get this awesome button on your Galaxy S24 Ultra lock screen. It allows you to basically have a bunch of different applications that you can then open directly. You can expand and collapse it. It's a little bit hidden. I'm gonna show you guys how to enable it today. Before we get started, I do wanna thank my son Jonathan for giving us some dinos to hang out. We got the Triceratops and also the T-Rex over here looking very fierce. We always appreciate my three-year-old son for giving us those. And I also wanna mention one of my favorite cases every year for the Galaxy S series, the Magbag case. They were nice enough to send out their case again for the S24 and sponsor this video. Uh, I've been using it now for a while. Some people have asked about it. This is the only case I recommend if you wanna have MagSafe compatibility with your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Not only does it have great protection, you can see the raised up edges, recessed on the inside. If you drop this, you're gonna have no issues. It's got precise cutouts for all the ports. And this year, they even made it so you could add a little pop of color to your device by switching out the buttons. In fact, they sent me out all the different colors. I decided to switch it out for yellow. You've also got blue, red, and of course the original black. I think that's a really nice touch that a lot of people would like. Uh, this is the original box that it came in. You also get the mag stick, so you can go ahead and mount this to any surface. I'll show you guys a quick little video here that I did a few years ago mounting my mag stick in my Audi um, so I can use it in the car. You'll see you get in here the mag stick itself up here at the top. You also get the alcohol prep pads to go ahead and apply that just like I did in my car. And the other great thing about this particular case, they also give you a nice little extra 3M adhesive in the box. The other great thing about this case is that it is the only MagSafe compatible case that I know of that also allows you to utilize the S Pen. All of the other ones out there basically don't work properly with the S Pen. The MagBack case works perfectly so you can get all of your MagSafe functionality but also still utilize the S Pen functionality as well. And if all that stuff wasn't enough, in addition to that, this thing is a very protective case. It's got a wrist lanyard anchored at the bottom. Uh, the buttons are very clicky and they have a whole suite of accessories uh, that you can buy from Magback as well to attach to the back, uh, like the Magback wallet, which has a very nice look to it. This is the leather wallet. They sent me a new one. I actually have one that I've been using for a while. You go ahead and put right on the back and you can get the same look and feel that your iPhone friends have um, and still utilize all the functions of your Galaxy device. So if you guys wanna check uh, the Magback case out, I'll drop the link below as well as the uh, relevant discount code because they usually give one uh, for my audience so you guys can check it out if you wanna purchase. It's definitely the one I recommend if you're looking for MagSafe functionality with your Galaxy device. So let's go ahead and get into showing you guys how to enable that button on the lock screen. This is once again inside Samsung's Good Lock suite of applications. So if you go into Good Lock and uh, download the module LockStar, for those of you who don't know much about GoodLock, it's a suite of customization apps that Samsung makes um, for the Galaxy devices. They're the ones who develop them. It's not a third-party application, just so you're aware. The fourth option on the makeup side is called LockStar. If you install this, which you can do from the little menu here, you can see I've already installed it, but if you haven't installed it yet, when you download GoodLock, you'll have the option to do so. Go ahead and open it, and there's two options. There's one for the lock screen on the left, and then one for the always-on display on the right side. So on the always on display side of this, what you'll be able to do is turn on this and customize your always on display. However, I'm using the erase background function. You guys probably saw it with my wallpaper. See how the rabbit kind of shows up and then the rest of the wallpaper fades in. If you wanna use that function, you actually cannot utilize the always on display function of Lockstar. So today I'm just gonna focus on the lock screen section. So if you turn this on and tap on it, the way you enable this feature is at the very bottom, you'll see right here how I already have this enabled. This is usually turned on by default to this option right here. Most of you probably have it turned on so that you only have the two different app quick launch icons. This is the default, the phone and the camera. And of course, you can edit these apps, but if you wanna have a wider array of applications, and I think it just looks cooler, you can choose the expanding type and you can choose the alignment. So you can choose to align it to the right horizontal, to the left vertical, to the left horizontal, or to the right vertical. Now I have the right vertical orientation this year. Last year I made this video as well to show you guys how to do it on the S23 Ultra. 
and I was using the right horizontal alignment. So once you choose your alignment, you can go in here and choose all of your different applications, up to six applications. There's also a search bar to choose which apps you want if you don't wanna scroll through the list. And then of course, once you do that, it's going to look like this on the lock screen. You'll see this little button there, you can tap it. And then of course, as soon as you tap on one of the apps, it's gonna take you right in there if your phone's unlocked. Uh, I'm using Extend Unlock, which is basically uh, the version that keeps it unlocked if it's on you or in a certain place. But if you have your biometric, like your fingerprint, your face scan, then you'll have to go ahead and do your fingerprint or your face scan to get in there, and then it'll take you directly to the application. Now there's a lot of other really good stuff inside Lockstar. That's not the only thing that Lockstar does. So if you're interested, in addition to customizing this button, which was the main topic of this video, you can also add additional widgets and things like that up here. You can play around with where the music widget will appear. You can make sure it doesn't overlap with your notifications. Uh, so your notifications can be separate from the music widget. In addition to that, if you tap on this little button on the notifications, you can change the color of your notification icon. So if you want a specific color for your notifications, uh, you can change that. You can also choose to have those expanded format. So instead of just showing the icons, it'll actually show you the information there as well. Change the transparency, change the scale. I mean, you can change literally everything uh, that you're interested in when it comes to the notification style and color. And some people also don't know that if you tap up here at the top, you can change the color of the lock icon itself and the style. You can even change this if you press the plus button here to change it to a plus sign or a different lock symbol. And then you can change the color of that as well to match your background, to match your wallpaper, uh, whatever you wanna do. That's in addition to editing the clock and these other things that I think a lot of people know. And if you don't wanna show messages down here, you can also edit this or change the transparency because some people don't like that. Or if you don't like the various system messages at the top, you can also remove that as well, but it'll you know change some of the things like showing do not disturb and that other type of information. Anyway, most of the video was about this button to get the apps expanded. A lot of people enjoyed it last year, so I wanted to show it again. Definitely check it out. Let me know if you guys have questions. Again, if you guys wanna check out and purchase the MagBack case, which is the only MagSafe compatible case that I recommend for the Samsung Galaxy devices, Check out the link in the description, pinned comment. I'll have the discount code as well. Appreciate you guys checking out the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.